Today I'm going to be talking to you about the TX8050, our new stereo two-channel network receiver. So first let's go ahead and look at what you have across the front panel. First is the main power button. Let's actually put the unit into standby. We've got a headphone socket, pure audio button which switches off the display and I'll show you that later. Zone 2 activate and turn off, rotary input control, bass and treble and balance. Also we've got tuning features which allow you to store and move up and down the presets and a USB port for iPod. Now on the back panel you can see an FM and AM connection for the internal tuner. We also have digital inputs, two coaxial and two optical, and these can be assigned to any of the inputs that you want to. Then the universal port, this allows a connection for the iPod dock or the DAB Plus tuner. And we have an array of analog inputs on the back to allow connection of various devices. And we can actually switch composite video as well. One of the most important connections on the back of this unit is the Ethernet port, which allows it to connect to your network so you can enjoy all of the internet radio streaming functions. Here we have pre-outs for the main left and right and subwoofer. This allows you to add on a separate high quality power amp if you desire. You can also plug in an active subwoofer so you can achieve that very, very low bottom end. And zone 2 pre-out. This allows you for independent source, independent volume in another room, let's say the kitchen or even the garden. We have an IR loop through system, so you can hide the unit away in a cupboard. Using an IRI, you can still control the system. And then finally on the back panel, we actually have the speaker binding posts. They're marked A and B. This allows you to run two pairs of speakers, or alternatively, you can actually buy wire a single pair of speakers or run another pair of speakers into another area. And now I'm actually going to show you how to remove the small black inserts. It's a very simple procedure to remove the black inserts. All you need is a sharp self-tapping screw, as you can see in the picture. And then it's a simple case of just winding the screw half a turn into the black plug and then pulling it out and removing it. But let's see that at a different angle. Push the self-tapping screw into the black inserts, give it half a turn, and gently pull out. And now you can actually plug in 4mm banana plugs directly into the binding posts. Now I'm going to talk to you about how to physically connect the network to the TX8050. And we've got two ways of doing this. The first way of doing it is a physical hardwire connection directly from your router into the back of the unit and it's a simple case of plugging the ethernet lead into the ethernet socket and away you go. Option two is to use our UFW1 wireless USB adapter. This does use up the USB socket on the front but it also gives you the freedom of no wires to connect to your network. I'm going to concentrate here on showing you how to set up the UFW1 on the TX8050. Once you've connected the USB Wi-Fi dongle, we now need to switch over to the USB input. And you can use the remote control to do this, or the front dial. Once this has been done, you now need to search for the wireless network. And it will automatically come up once it's initialized. I would actually recommend using the manual setup, so you don't accidentally connect to someone else's network. Once you've actually selected manual setup, it will actually take a few moments to scan all of the networks in the area and then it will provide you with a list that you can actually scroll up and down. Here we go, here's my network. But I'm going to select my main network and then press enter. Now we've actually got a list of the contents of the network, the SSID, the security type, 
and also the password which is actually going to ask you for if there is one for your network. Please make sure you enter your network exactly as it should be taking care of uppercase and actually lowercase letters and symbols and move down and hit OK. Once you've pressed the OK button you'll be taken back to the previous menu you just need to move down one more and actually connect to the network. Pressing the OK button will force your unit into connecting and there we are ready to go. If you're lucky enough to have a smartphone or an iPhone you can actually control the TX8050 from it. Once you've downloaded and installed the app you fire it up it's going to ask you what you'd actually like to connect to because it's DLNA certified it will find more than one thing on your network if it's there and here we go you've got your main input selection as you can see in the background it's changing as you're making a selection on the app and here we have the networking features and this will give you direct access to specific parts whether it be the VTuner, Napster, Last.fm as you can see in the window of the actual 8050 as I'm making the selections on the app it's connecting and then playing depending how fast your network is will depend how fast it buffers and there we go full control via the app. Then here's also a small clip of me using an iPhone with our iPhone app to control the 8050 in exactly the same way. So we've got both apps for both types of phones to allow you full wireless control. Well I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.